Hello everyone, welcome back to Anonymous World. So in this video, I will tell you how to write your name in your Kali terminal. So let's get into the video. So we need to install a tool which is known as Fizzlet. To install it, you just write apt get install Fizzlet. You will get all the commands which I used in the description box. As you can see, I already have installed the Fizzlet. So in the next step, just write Fizzlet and write the text which you want to show in your terminal. So you can use help command to see what more features do we have with Fizzlet. So we have many options like changing font file, font directory, uh, aligning them etc etc. So let's try changing the font size of our text. Just type on Fizzlet dash f big and your text. It will increase your font size. Ok so let's try um, something else, we will write our text in the bubble format. So we got our text in bubble format, now how to make this permanent. Like as we enter terminal every time we see uh, this name. So we need to edit one file. Just type nano slash root slash dot zsrc. I have zsh shell, so I've written zsh rc. If you have bash shell, you need to write bash rc. Just scroll at the bottom and at last write fizzlet space your text. Now save the changes and exit the terminal and re-enter the terminal. As you re-enter the terminal, you can see your text written. Okay, so now let's try something else. How about making it slant uh, or italic? So for doing that, uh, just after hyphen F, we need to write slant. We will also align it to the center. Now how to align it in the center, just after your text type hyphen C. So it's slant and aligned in center too. So let's edit our file again. So if you wish to write something below your this ASCII text just use echo command and within the inverted commas write your text or line which you want to show. Ok again exit the terminal and reopen it. So that's it we got our name as well as our text on the terminal. Again you can find all the commands which I used in this video in the description box. If you use bash shell, remember you need to edit dot bash rc file. Just replace zsh with bash and do the same changes which I showed you in this video. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.